In this lesson, we're going to take the time to review methods and how we use them in Java. So go ahead and get the project methods loaded up into your Eclipse IDE if you'd like to work along with me. We'll see that this project has three classes, runner, swimmer, and utilities, and also has our driver class methods.java. Runner, again, has race ID as an integer, the default constructor which does nothing, but this time we've added mutator and accessor methods, or getters and setters, or get race ID and set race ID. And so we just work with the local instance variable there, making it publicly accessible through these methods. We also still have our perform sport, and now we have our two string method that allows us to use the get race ID as well as the perform sport method in its output. Swimmer again is going to be very similar. We still have the race ID. We've added the mutators and accessors to get and set the race ID, and we have our perform sport and we're going to be able to get the race ID here and perform sport in the two string output. Our utilities class then just has one simple method which is going to be static, so it'll be available through direct call to utilities.nullsafe equals, and it's going to just take two objects and compare them for equality. And we'll note that at this time, this is very simple code that does not handle the actual null safe equals, but does do a simple comparison. So here is our methods class. And first we're going to create a new runner, and then we'll use the setter or mutator to set the race ID to 146720. We'll also create a default swimmer and then set the race ID to 726198. We'll then create a new swimmer using our explicit constructor and set its ID to 235971. And we'll print out each of those to make sure that the race ID is accessible through the accessor, which is handled in the two string. And then we'll just print out x equals y using our utilities null safe equals, a very safe function to determine that x and y are not equal. So we'll go ahead and run this now. And here we'll see our mutators and accessors are working. We now are able to set the race ID for the runner and the swimmer when we construct with the default constructor. And then we have our explicit as well still working. Our two string is using the accessor to print out those values as well. And we have x equals y is false. 